Hey guys, it's Trey, and today I'm going to be talking about a great platform for finding information on public and private companies, and that platform is Crunchbase. So what Crunchbase has done basically is compiled a massive catalog of all the business information you could hope to find on any company you could think of. Uh, more specifically, they include information about investments, funding, founding members and individuals and in leadership positions, mergers, acquisitions, news, and industry trends. So what they do for you is they help you identify leads, close deals, and grow your business by finding the right companies and people to achieve your business goals. So basically, Crunchbase is like a search engine where you can look up any other company that you may be prospecting as a client or a partner, or even just to keep an eye on your competitors. So this is the Crunchbase Pro sales page with all their main selling features, but I'm going to go ahead and give you all a look at my account on the free trial version over here. All right, so this is just a quick idea of what your Crunchbase homepage will look like. And as you can see, there's like a new piece of industry related news every other day. And this is all based on my follows. So if you make an account, your news feed is going to look different than mine. But let's just say, for instance, this article grabbed my eye and I want to check out Tesla. So I click on Tesla and it'll bring me to Tesla's page and I can see where their headquarters, when they were founded, who's the founders. And there's even more information down here. So we can see the list that they made it onto. We can see their IPO and stock price, as well as their funding rounds and investors. We can also see companies that they've acquired some of their website traffic and some of their main competitors. There are also other features like right here, interest signals, for instance, that you can unlock by upgrading to a premium plan with Crunchbase, but we're not going to do that for today. That's just for example. But um, let me take one second and show you all what my follow list looks like real quick. All right, let's take a look at another example. We'll look at Harley Davidson Motor Company. They were founded in 1903, so they're not exactly a tech startup, but I think this would make a good digestible example. So we can look down here and see all the same information that we just saw for Tesla, like their stock charts and their acquisitions. This is, this is what I meant. It's a little easier to look at because they've only acquired two companies in the past like two decades. But anyway, let's see what else we can learn. So we can take a look at their tech stack, mobile apps, website tech, web traffic again, interest signals, things like that. So Crunchbase also has this really handy search engine where you can search for any company that you want or if you don't know what you're looking for you can type in some filters and sort of sift through companies that might match the description of what you need. So for instance let's say we want one in New York and we want it to be involved in biotechnology. <clears throat> so we have five points of data to filter through with the pro version. But when we click our second data point for the free version, it kind of maxes out. So all we can do is search with two criteria, and then it's only going to show us the top five. But if we upgraded to the pro version, we would be able to search on all five pieces of criteria and view all of our options. So there definitely are benefits to upgrading to the pro version, but just for the purpose of this example, we'll pick one of these and take a look at it. So just like with Tesla and Harley, we can see all the same information. It's all available right here. We can see their stock prices. We can see their funding rounds. We can see their web traffic as well as their tech stack, which apparently includes 23 technologies. So anyway, this has been kind of a quick overview of how you can use Crunchbase to research potential clients and business partners or even just keep an eye on your competition. So I hope this helped y'all out and thanks for watching.